Welcome to Sketch School, from First Second. I'm Andy Hirsch, author of Science Comics, Rocks and Minerals. I'm going to be showing you how I draw Sedona, the geologist hero from this very book. Let's go! Okay, so we're going to start out with a gesture drawing of our character here. It's um, just to work out pose and placement on the page and that sort of thing. As I go, I'm going to be adding some dimension to make her look a little more three-dimensional and give her some form. This video is at double speed, uh, just to save us all some time. Uh, I am working in Clip Studio for my software, and hardware-wise, I'm using um, just a, a pen display or a, a graphics monitor, you call them. It's just a, a big tablet where you can draw right on the image and it hooks up to my computer. So we're finishing up legs here, adding some details to her expression, putting a hat on there. I like to start with the edge first. That kind of helps me define the shape on those. And then Sedona's got big hair and a big scarf here. I like, I like including those kind of design elements that you can see there's some fringe on the scarf there. That really helps you show motion and make the characters look more dynamic. So going in, we're adding, she's got her, her sleeves rolled up. So coming in, now, we're, now I'm just adding some more detail overall and, and defining the shapes a little bit more. So her leg needs to be a little longer down there. And that's one of the nice things about working digitally is that I can just select it and scoot it down without having to erase and redraw everything. And um, also, I, uh, I can't tell you how often I use the undo function. Can't do that with a pencil. So she's reaching out there. I'm gonna go back in, find the scarf a little more. This is all just preliminary stuff. None of these lines are final. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in in a, another stage here. Okay, and what she's reaching for, obviously, big old shiny crystal. She loves them. Rock hunting geologist, ooh, sparkle, sparkle. Okay, yeah, move both those legs down a little more. Okay, showing some tools there. So I'm gonna knock that down to blue and a lower opacity because I'm gonna start inking and uh, <laughs> we're gonna start moving around pretty fast here. I zoom in a lot to do my inking because uh, I like it to look really clean. And uh, you can see I'm, I'm rotating the canvas an awful lot and also flipping it horizontally. It's easier to, to make curves I think for, you know, hat, glasses, every, I mean, they're all over the place. Um, but it's easier for me to do that moving my wrist in a certain way. So it's nice that I can just flip it left to right, flip it back, and really um, find, the, uh, find the posture that will help me get the line that I'm after. shading in here. I do these little spot blacks as I go mostly. Um, it helps define one part of the figure as being in front of another. So that's just more things to, more ways to add a little dimension and a little visual interest too. More fringe. And save some time by doing these uh, these little bits and chunks. You can see group of three there. And she actually there's two layers to this scarf. It's it's folded over. So I'm gonna start adding just hints of of a few there. Black those in. Back under at 
some more scarf. We'll add a little more shading here. Add some dynamism, makes it look make it look like uh, like it's really blowing in the wind as she runs. Some folds. Yep, yeah, see there. Flip it, flip it back. Zoom out, we'll see how we're looking there. Okay, back in for some more detail. Let's start working on this hand here. the body here, just connecting things as we go. Erasing the little, some little straight edges that kind of extend further than I want them to. Right there, yeah, neaten that up. Come in with the eraser there, yeah. There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. More shading on the scarf now that we know where that arm's hitting. There we go. Yeah, I, being able to erase something after you've done it just super easy like that, even at the inking stage, is nice because it lets me use larger hand motions to to get those real smooth, uh, even lines. And you know, I can just draw all the way across the page if I want, and I can just erase the extra stuff. You can see I didn't follow the pencils super closely there. Her fingers looked a little long. So, you know, I'm still making decisions here at the at the inking stage. Like, this is an example of uh, a long line that it's nice to be able to undo and redo and, and overdraw and then erase the extra stuff. Yeah, we're gonna fill that in, fill in the bottom of this little black there, add some shadow. Now some seams. It's another thing to, to add some dimension and um, define the front of the leg versus the back of the leg and um, it makes that pose read a little nicer to add little details like that. I don't want to add too much and, and, and busy it up. side, do the foot, and then, and then work back up the other way, I think. Hey, all right, looking good. Undo key, come to rescue there. Some more shading, yeah. And that's a big spot, so we'll feather that a little bit. Okay, all right. Zoom out so we can get a better view of how everything's looking just as a whole. Our last bit that we're going to do here is this crystal. So it's not any kind in particular. So some, give it some big facets, some smaller ones. Doesn't all look too samey. 
And then I'm gonna do our sparkles here. Get up a little bit there. Yeah, we're gonna fill in that hat. That looks better. Shading under there. She's off the ground and she's moving fast, so we're gonna add some cool dust clouds that she's kicking up. There we go. Now we turn off the pencil layer, and there is our intrepid geologist Sedona. Stay tuned for more from First Second Sketch School. And be sure to check out Science Comics, Rocks and Minerals, available wherever books are sold.